How you doing? Uh, Chef Houdini with a special for Valentine's Day. I'm going to tell you the origination of a Valentine's Day, and I, I know you don't know what it is. Who, I, who, I don't know. Well, I know now. Long time ago, because everything started a long time ago, there was this guy in Italy, and his name was Cupus. You know, he was a special guy. He was like a local guy for his little town. And his one of his powers were he could make himself a really big, or he could make him real small, or he could make any part of his body big or small. I thought, dude. Anyway, that's what he, that's his thing. And once a year, he would come into town and have his way with the women. You know, like he would do it. He'd grab one, he would do whatever he wanted to do with them. You know, that was his thing. And the women, you know, in the town, you know, at some point they go, this is bullshit. You know, man, when this one day comes around, you know, uh, you know, uh, we're going we're gonna to hide somewhere. Now, his favorite girl he, he, if he couldn't have his favorite girl, he would pick somebody else. And his favorite girl, her name was Valentine, you know? And they started calling this one day when he come into town once a year, Valentine's Day. <laughs> because she's going to get it good, you know? Anyway. So once they get, you know, he would come down, and then he'd be walking around going, where's all the women's? <clears throat> so a uh, Valentine's Day passed, and he didn't get none. So he said, well, I'm going to get wise of this. So he grabbed this guy before he goes back home. He grabbed this guy, Guido, who's the local bread maker. And he says, look, you're going to do what I tell you to do. I got a job for you. You know, because Guido's like, you know, I got my own job. You know, and the next thing you know, he's looking at this Cupid's guy. And he's like, holy crap. What do you want me to do, boss? What else could he do? So Cupid tells me, here's what you're going to do. First of all, your name is now Cupid. It ain't Guido no more. Okay. I'm going to give you this bow and arrow. It's a magical, one of the magical bow and arrow thing. And what you're going to do, when you get this bow and arrow, you turn invisible. So Guido's like, okay. You take this bow and arrow. You go into town on Valentine's Day. You know, once a year we do this. You find me a real good woman, look for Valentine first, but if you can't find her, find somebody else, you know. And you take this bow and arrow and you shoot it. You get her right in the hiney with it. And next thing she knows, what? What was that? And now she's got the hots for me. I don't have to find her. She's come looking for me now. It's, <laughs> You know, and I'm going to do this every Valentine's Day. So this is your job. I don't care what else you do the rest of the year. But come Valentine's Day, you're going to be Cupid. You're going to fly around. You're going to shoot some girl in a hiney. And they're going to find me and everything will be fine. And he's like, well, we do, you know, Cupid's like, okay. Now, that's how it went on for a long time. And eventually, you know, big business, they get hold of this idea. And they say, we're going to make some money with this. So now they turn it into like Valentine's Day. You know, and, you know, on Valentine's Day, you got to get hold of your girlfriend, or your somebody, you know, and you got to spend all kinds of money on them. You buy them jewelry, you buy them like chocolates, you take them out to an expensive dinner. You know, you know, the poor guy's like, oh, man, man, Cupid, he really screwed me. Anyway, so, you know, you, you take her out and you spend all this money on her and stuff. You know, you take her to a nice dinner. You know, you're sitting there, you know, and she's like, oh, I, I, had, I had that expensive bottle of wine over there, you know, that one right there. And I'm going to have, I'm going to have a lobster. I like a lobster. I know it's a little expensive, but, you know, I'm worth it. I'm going to have a lobster. I'm, I'm going to have, let's see, oh, that expensive bottle of wine. Oh, can I have that expensive cheese over there, you know, because I see everybody else getting it. I want some of that cheese, too, you know. And so this makes me better happy. You know, so now the guy's sitting there going, uh, well, what do I, what do I get out of this? You know, you know, what, what did you get me for Valentine's Day? And of course she says, uh, you get me. I'm all you need because, you know, because I'm a, you know, I'm a everything. I'm on your whole world, you know. <laughs> Anyway, 
That's how Valentine's Day got started. That's what it is today. So you have a nice Valentine's Day. Cupid, Cupid, all that crap.